Oh, well, hi guys. Um, oh shoot, what's my thing? Hi and welcome. My name is Michelle, and I'm the creator and writer of My Virtue, a Christian lifestyle blog that shows you how to be the Proverbs 31 woman in a 21st century world. Today I'll be showing you what's in my purse. Um, so a little uh, background. Um, this is an Adrian Vitadini. I don't know if that's going to focus. I think so. Um, and it is a large satchel bag with a shoulder strap, uh, gold plated metal detailing, um, little initial strap here. And um, I guess I need to focus a little more there. And um, a long um, rolled cover. Um, rolled straps um, and this just to give you some background the reason I got this bag was because um, I was shopping around TJ Maxx <laughs> of course um, and uh, I was in the market for a light colored bag my usual bag that I've been carrying around um, as a was a black bag with the similar um, exterior similar design with the long strap shoulder straps long um, what do you call these? I guess hand straps or whatever. Not really a shoulder strap. Um, and uh, I just wanted a light color bag that was perfect for spring and summer. So um, I went shopping around at TJ Maxx looking for a good deal, as many of you probably do. And um, I happened upon this beautiful pale pink pastel, um, pale pastel, um, bag um, and it has sort of like a pale pink color with a salmon undertone to it I think in my opinion that's what it sort of looks like it has like a like a similar like a salmon tinge to it um, and it has uh, the main body of it is faux leather with the side panels um, being in faux suede and when I first saw this bag I didn't think that it was vegan I didn't think it was faux leather um, but it actually was I was like oh this is so buttery and smooth to the touch um, the suede feels like suede you know it feels smooth and um, you can see the grains of the leather that's what I was thinking but then I opened up the the bag to see the tag and lo and behold it was um, vegan leather it was faux leather so that was a good uh, find for me because it's so hard to find good quality uh, faux leather bags, vegan bags, um, that don't that, that that handle the wear and tear of everyday use. So for me, I carry a lot of stuff. I carry at least five to ten pounds of stuff every day. So I needed something that would um, hold up under that pressure, and this has definitely done the trick. Um, I've bought this bag and. Um, I want to say June of this year um, and I've been using it up until September so up until today um, and it's still going strong and to some to my surprise it's it's fantastic I love it I love the little claw little not claw feet but little gold plated feet that I can sit it down anywhere I can even sit it on the floor and not have to worry about too many germs you know even though I don't sit my bags on the floor um, not often but yeah, uh, I love all the details. The only thing um, is, since I do carry a lot of stuff, I normally don't use these shoulder straps. But if you would, and you know, if that's your thing, then you can definitely use that. I normally just take these off, take these off like that, and I just put them in the bottom of this bag. So I'll show you how. Before I show you what's in the bag, let me show you how I carry um, everything. So I take the shoulder strap off and plop it in there. And let's show you the interior. I take this little uh, name tag off and I just put it in the purse. And let's take a peek inside that bag. So let's take this thing off. Okay. So um, the bag has a zipper closure. And um, 
cool detailing there. And you can open it up and you will see one large compartment. That's where I put the bulk of my things. And it has a zipper, zipper pocket and two other pockets as well where I put my phone and other little other little things in there. So I put the name tag in one of these little pockets here just so it doesn't catch on things and I, I hate, that's a pet peeve of mine for me to get a brand new bag and then it scuff on something or one little thing that's hanging hanging off of it catches on something and then rips or whatever. So I didn't want to take any chances. So I took that name tag thing off, took the shoulder straps off, just plopped them in the bag. And this has plenty of space. It's about, um, I want to say 10, about 10 to 11 inches wide. Um, about 10, I'd say maybe nine inches tall. Um, just very spacious. I want to let me get the see if I can find the exact measurements here. It's from the Adrian Vitadini the Lux Collection satchel. Um, it doesn't give exact measurements, but um, yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> I thought it would, but it didn't. Uh, just to let you know the um, the price on this was fantastic um, compared to the suggested retail price of $168 I only paid maybe $35 for this bag so um, yeah it was quite a good deal so let me just jump in and just show you how I fit all of my stuff into this one bag so let's let's just jump into it first um, one of the most important things I carry uh, hold it close to my heart is my cell phone, my smartphone. I have a Galaxy S5 um, and I love the iPhone, but I like, I love that you can put, you can have expandable memory space on your phone by just getting one of those little memory cards and you don't have to worry about the iCloud or whatever. You can just load up some more memory with your card and put it into this phone. Um, a lot of the Samsung phones have that capability um, and just, you don't, you can have as, take as many phone, <laughs> take as many screenshots and as many photos as you want to. So I take a lot of photos. So I love this phone. And I have the a Kate Spade um, cell phone cover right there, if you want to see that. Hope that's in focus. Okay. And I just slip that onto the, the next thing. pocket. I got my sunglasses here. Just got these from, uh, H&M or Aldo I think Aldo just a translucent rose gold plastic uh, sunnies here and um, I just put those in one of those I put it in the skinnier pocket one of the interior pockets is wider wide enough for me to fit my wide Samsung phone in the other one is a little skinnier so I put a lot of um, technical stuff my flash drive my earphones my um, portable charger all that stuff goes in that smaller pocket so I have my sunnies in, in there okay next is my wallet carries important things I don't think I'm gonna show you what's inside just all the essentials that you would carry your license insurance cards cash receipts many receipts <laughs> membership cards you name it, it's in here in this guess um, wallet. So I fit it right into the main body of the purse. Next up, oh, I dropped something. Next up, I have um, a card holder. I love organization tips and um, there's one channel on YouTube. I'll just have to put the link below, but she has the most ingenious tips and advice for organizing things you know just creative things that you would find around the house that you wouldn't expect to use um but yeah it's it's a card holder a business card holder but i don't use it for business cards not just for that i use it for all of my, my membership cards so like my supermarket cards my barnes and noble card 
gift cards, you name it, I fit it in here. And the fun thing about it is it's see-through. It has see-through pockets. So I can just flip through whatever store I'm at. I just flip through the card holder until I find what I need. Just take out the card, swipe it, and put it right back. And it's all enclosed in this case here. So I love it. It's fantastic. It does carry some weight and there are some apps that I want to try out like Keyring and I think a few others that you can store this card information on those apps so you don't have to carry this thing around. So I think I'm going to try to download that and see how it goes, see how that works. But I like this because it's handy and it keeps everything within reach. So speaking of deals, I have my trusty coupon holder. I just bought this today. I had one for about a year and a half, but I lost it and um, I had to find a new one. So this is my trusty coupon holder. I've been using a raggedy, <laughs> just regular envelope for the past week and a half. And I finally bought um, an actual coupon holder. So that's what I'm going to be organizing today. But that, you know, it's small enough to fit in my bag. So this is so um, nifty to carry around when you're at your favorite store and you happen to have a coupon you can just flip through it and take it out and use it so I love a good deal if you didn't if you couldn't couldn't tell next thing I guess I'm on the shopping theme here this is a uh, reusable market bag <clears throat> and I got it I bought it from um, it came with a my regular purchase at a natural food market um, here in here in town and um, what you do it has a little drawstring that you pull here let's see if I can focus a little <laughs> more uh, there and then you just open it and then you just take it out and it expands to be a full-size reusable market bag so this is this comes quite in handy I found this um, just organizing the other day and this is I will definitely be taking this with me because I'm trying to use less plastic it's better for the planet it's better for you to just carry around and um, just in case you need a bag or whatever so it's so useful and even some stores they offer discounts if you have your own reusable bag with you so it's good to have so and then that huge bag just you just stuff it fold it back inside itself pull that little string and it'll just fit right in the bag so and it goes i have a lot of junk in here but it's my junk and it's useful junk so that's in there i put this in the smaller um pocket And as I'm, as I'm showing you, I'm organizing my bag. <laughs> so yeah, that's the one good thing about these videos. I'm so addicted to watching these videos, mainly because I'm, I'm a little nosy, and you are too if you admit it. And I just, I'm always looking for the next, the next best idea of how to organize my stuff. And I just want to see what the latest bags are. I just, I'm a shoes girl and a bags girl. I love just about any kind of shoe, any kind of bag, you name it, I am on it. I just love it. Next up, I have a bare naked fruit and nutty granola bar. If I can focus, I don't know if it's focusing. <laughs> Let's get this thing to focus here, okay? Here we go. See if we can focus on two things at once. So, yeah, it's a fruity and nutty granola bar. One thing that I'm trying to do, uh, excuse me, one thing I'm trying to do is stay healthy, and part of that is eating nutritious foods. So, if I keep healthy snacks um, on hand um, for when I'm stranded or I haven't, I'm busy and I'm on the go so much and I haven't had anything to eat, it's so good to grab these granola bars. It doesn't have to be this brand. It can be pretty much anything. Just make sure it's um, minimal um, in ingredients and um, you can read the ingredients and you know what they are and make sure that they're real food. But um, 
this these bars carrying this stuff has really come in handy the other day I was working out and um, it was off-site from the usual gym that I go to and I didn't eat anything which um, was not a it was a no-no major no-no which I found out early so make sure you eat and I just happened to have one of these granola bars and when I felt lightheaded and like I was gonna faint the teacher said take a break if you have a fruit bar or some Gatorade eat it munch on it drink on it whatever you need to do to regroup do that so these I had this in my bag or um, something something similar to it and I munched on this for a few minutes and it really helped my blood sugar spike to you know my blood sugar to go, my blood sugar to go back to normal so it's always handy to keep these with you, just in case you never know next up I have my earbuds I I love earbuds you just can just zone out <laughs> these are noise canceling these came with my um, Galaxy S5 phone um, and they have the little buttons on the side you know what the, you know you know how this goes but I carry these these have been lifesavers for me when I need to take a nap or when I'm at work or I need to cancel out any kind of ambient noise to concentrate on what I'm what task I'm doing these these really come in handy so I always have these either this pair or any other pair I always have headphones with me next up I have my phone charger it's pretty straightforward I'll go I'm gonna breeze through this other stuff that I don't really want to I don't need to focus or explain too much about that you have those two in your purse so my work ID I have my Tiki Mango Mai Tai spray from Bath and Body Works you can see that there <laughs> okay it's body spray it has a tropical <laughs> it's a tropical fruity um, fruity scent so I, I like anything tropical and anything that remind me of a deserted island on a beach I am there I will I will definitely I love this spray I love it um, I have hand sanitizer and of course it's from Bath and Body Works they have the little um, handy packs of uh, hand sanitizer that you can keep in your purse this one is the white peach Chardonnay and I love the smell I love their citrus ones. This one is something new I tried and I love it. Um, I just keep that in my purse to keep your hands nice and fresh and smelling good. I have a nail file. I don't. I used to carry a a nail clipper, but this seemed to do the trick for me when you know it seems to tide me over until I get home and I can actually focus and do my nails and clip them the way I want to do them so I keep that on hand also I have some summer's eve cleansing cloths if you're ladies you know what that is if you know if it's a certain time of the month or just if, if you just want to feel fresh then keep those in your bag ladies <laughs> um, then I have some cotton L flushable cleansing cloths so keeping along the theme of staying fresh and smelling good this will it's a lifesaver for you know not just when you go to the restroom and do your business but if you you know on hot humid days like we have in the city here um, I love these cloths they really help when you just want to stay fresh if you feel a little sweaty if you're in between a workout or whatever and you want to freshen up I love these these they're cool and refreshing, perfect for summer. Even in the winter time, if you want to just freshen up a bit, it's perfect. Um, let's just go through all these little packets here. I have some <laughs> Dove uh, the travel size deodorant. Um, and I keep it on a plastic bag because, um, especially in the summertime here in, in Baltimore, if I left this, um, 
if I left my bag in a hot place or something or if I'm just outside somewhere for a long period of time this starts to just ooze and leak out so I'd, I would hate for this to spill on to my other stuff in my purse so I keep it in a plastic bag so quick tip if you haven't done that yet keep your stuff in a plastic bag if you think it's going to spill out um, I have a lot of wipes here. I have a Windex Electronics Wipe and Go for cleaning off your cell phones or your cameras or your sunglasses or anything like that. This keeps it nice and clean and germ free. I have some little food stuff to keep me satiated. <laughs> um, this, I just keep this, I, it's a last resort. I keep it just in case, you know, just in case of emergencies. So I have a Justin's, this is the chocolate hazelnut butter blend. I love these. I, whenever I'm at Target, I stock up on these and they're white chocolate peanut butter cups. Perfection. They're just, they're better than, they're better than those other peanut butter cups, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, it's all organic. Um, or most of the time they're organic. They're fair trade um, most of the time, as far as I know, sustainably sourced palm oil, which is good, um, vegan, which is good, um, and all around just a good snack. It has uh, dry roasted hazelnuts, dry roasted almonds, organic cane sugar, organic cocoa, organic cocoa butter, palm fruit oil from sustainable sources, vanilla, and a little bit of sea salt. So it's a good healthy snack. Um, for when you're on the go but I just keep it just in case like for those moments when you you haven't eaten and you feel like you're gonna faint like I did the other day chomp on that for a little bit and and get your blood sugar <laughs> at a normal level so yeah also along the food theme here I have my Trader Joe's jasmine green tea and my yogi I love this tea it's yogi Honey Lavender Stress Relief. I keep this at work with me <laughs> when things get a little crazy. I don't know if you can focus there. Focus, Julie Sun, focus. Okay, and I just I usually blend, I steep these together in a big old cup of hot water at work. Put a little bit of honey or agave in it with some lemon. Perfection. It, it just, it's my way to unwind even at work or even, wherever I am. I try to keep this, this is part of my emergency stash that I keep with me um, for those just in case moments when you need a break or you need just a moment to just zen out and relax. So I keep that with me at all times. Also, after drinking the tea, you need your breath to stay fresh. So I have some Colgate, I had some Alt, my, some Altoids and Orbit gum. Those are my usual go-tos, but I'm trying something new here um, to avoid chewing gum and, and all that because it, it hurts my sensitive teeth. So um, I'm just carrying some good old Colgate here and a travel size toothbrush. Just take that out and do what you need to do there. But I'm using, I'm trying this out instead of mints and seeing how it goes. Um, so I can actually get to the nitty gritty of what's stuck in my teeth and freshen up my breath at the same time. <laughs> so hopefully that wasn't a bad visual. Um, but I keep that handy. Also I have, I just bought this too, a T TJ Maxx again. It's the Body Shop Mango Hand Cream. It is... Fantabulous. I don't know if it's focusing or not. Do I have to always tap that there? There we go. There we go. I hope it's focusing. We'll find out <laughs> later. But it's uh, the mango hand cream, and I love anything mango, anything citrus scented. I am anything tropical. I am there. And it's, they, the Body Shop always has the cutest packaging. It's like an old school. Um, lotion container and I love it cute it's always it keeps my hands moisturized and smelling good and feeling good so I keep that with me also I have some poopery some spray <laughs> before you go to the restroom you spray a little spritz of that and you'll be good to go and you can continue with whatever you need to do okay next up I have um, just little essentials I have my Advil for when I well, for when I need it. I have some hairpins, and this is an old container. 
it was um, a bobby pin container and I just reused it and I keep all of my bobby pins especially with with natural hair you need to be able to keep keep it looking good and all that so if I need to pull my hair back I keep this with me if we need to pin it back I keep my my bobby pins with me so that's always with me there I have my lip balm my favorite lip balm from CO Bigelow Bath and Body Works again there we go I got 100% pure it's the fruit pigmented 100% naturally juicy lip gloss and I love this it smells um, it smells like berries it smells like candy it's so good and it's all natural it's vegan and it's 100% pure it's good I have a pen I have loads of pens it, one thing you'll find out about me I love lip gloss and I love pens I love to be able to write anything down and keep those keep that handy with me so I have my lip gloss and my pens I have another lip lippy here. It's the Flower Lip Suede Velvet Lip Chubby. And it looks like the, I think Clinique came out with these kind of chubby uh, lipsticks or lip balms or whatever you want to call it. A lot of people came out with those chubby lip, lip glosses, but I keep the flower one with me. Um, also, I have this cute little find that I got from anthropology it's the what is this I don't know what it's called I don't know the brand but it's one of their lip balms that they carry it's in the shade black cherry and it's just a lip stain and I've used it all all up there I don't know if you can see that it's none left you just have to dig your nails into it and use it but it smells a little bit like coffee or like cocoa scented but I love this this it's a nice um, smooth application um, just a simple little lip stain with a berry tinge of color just just yummy perfect for fall Bad. perfect for fall I don't know what happened I just bought this I just bought this camera and I got the Canon it's the Canon EOS Rebel T6i fab fabulous camera but I'm very new to it so I'm just trying to figure out how to shoot video so please please bear with me this is my first YouTube video that I'm actually bold enough and courageous enough and brave enough to upload to YouTube so please be merciful please be kind so safe space here next up I have my uh, lipstick here it's the Revlon we're gonna try this again <laughs> Revlon um, Revlon super lustrous lipstick in the shade pearl 420 blushed and um, there's a little bit of lipstick left in here in this tube. It has a sort of a, I go for mauve, soft, mauve kind of shades. I was looking for a nude lipstick and this was the next best thing that I could find. So cute little, cute little lipstick. Next up, I have my latest favorite lipstick. Um, it's the Shea Moisture. Shea Butter Luscious Lipstick. I could wear this all day. That's what I'm wearing now. I'm wearing it in the shade Wild Orchid. It, it is just fabulous. Has this cool little, um, it's all plastic packaging, but um, has the clear, you can see that there. Has a clear little exterior there that you can peek and see the color there this is a more of a smooth sort of non-stick kind of um top there and you just snap that off and has this sort of gold not gold but copper kind of um finish to the applicator and just twist it up and it's a nice cranberry shade which is just perfect for fall and it was just what I was looking for and it just is gone it goes on so smoothly it stays on forever even when it rubs off or it wears off after you eat or you know at the end of the day your lips still have that cranberry stain to it which I love one other thing um, that I wish it, 
it did have was staying power. My top lip is fully colored, you know, without lipstick. My, my top lip is brown, brown skin. I'm black, so my <laughs> top lip is brown skin or brown, you know, has is brown in color. But my bottom lip is very pink. It has a brown outline, but a lot of people, if you ask a black person, <laughs> any African, most African American women will have that really pink bottom lip or you know one of your lips is really going to be really pink and my bottom lip is bright pink so I have to work extra hard to cancel out that bright pink tone and this covers it up for the most part but I, I think I would have to cover up the pink first with a, a neutral lip liner or uh, a, a lip liner that's similar to this shade like a cranberry sort of burgundy kind of lip pencil so that's one thing I have to look for to go with that lipstick but other than that it's perfect love it love it let's finish up whatever I have in here I have my Tweety Bird flash drive <laughs> there there we go I have um, it's a basic generic brand but um, it's IE Essentials my portable charger and I can hook up my camera to it which I probably wouldn't do because the battery isn't that isn't that good for that large of a device but I use it to charge my phone when I'm in a in a jam or anything else and it came with this little little wire there I have let's see I have more pens I got one two three four five six pens for just one person in this bag <laughs> So I love to write. If one thing you'll find in all of my bags, at least five pens and at least three to five lip products. So that's just me. I like lip lipsticks and lip glosses. Ever since I was a little girl, I would at least have three lip products in my bag, and it's it's still the same today. Um, this is a next up. I have a car charger for my. I use this for my iPad. For long road trips, this really comes in handy. You can just plug it up there. You plug this part into your car and just, you know, if, you know, it goes for where your, I guess the cigarette lighter in your car is. You take that thing out and you put this, plug this in and you can charge your device. Um, I have my Apple <laughs> adapter plug or whatever you call it. Um, but I use it to charge my Fitbit, so I keep this in my purse to keep it handy and keep it charged. Uh, last up, I have my keys, all these keys, another hairband, and I have a ton of paper. <laughs> just, it's, I don't need to go through that, but it's just receipts and menus and folders and just things that I, I don't need in my purse, but I, I just carry it with me. so. That is all that I carry in this lovely bag. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you, um, if you like it, um, leave a comment below and let me know what you carry in your purse or bag or whatever you carry with you on the day to day. Just let me know. Um, if you have any video suggestions, uh, let me know. This is my first YouTube video. Um, so yay me uh, just let me know if you have any ideas anything that you'd like me to share or talk about or um, review or anything like that just let me know and I'm, I'd be happy to to do it so um, until next time this is Michan and I'll see you bye